What's up guys, DP Connect at DLife HD and today we're going to be talking about Read 2. We were anxiously awaiting this game because it looked like a really cool platformer. So is it any good? And most importantly, how are the controls? Stay tuned and let's find out. First let's talk about what we like about this game. Let's talk about the best part of this game, the controls. This is a precision platformer and trust me you'll be dying a lot. Not because of the controls, because the game is a super challenging but ultimately satisfying once you complete a level. The controls are really basic. There's a left and a right arrow on the left side of the screen and a jump button on the right side of the screen. You can use the jump button to perform a regular jump or a double jump and that's basically all that you can do in the game to get through the levels. The graphics are really nice. They are pixel graphics but they add a blur and depth of feel effect that's really nice and a different approach to a pixel based game. They also add this slight noise effect to the game. It's really slight but adds a cool looking effect. The background and foreground of all the levels have such great detail, even when the character moves or does anything. The little animations are amazing. All throughout the level there's ton going on and it looks like the game is running at 60 frames per second because it's silky smooth. Like I said before, the gameplay is super challenging. The level design is fantastically done. You have to jump perfectly to get to some of the platforms and avoid the saws, spikes or shooting arrows that may be trying to get you. It's insanely difficult, but the really cool thing is when you die, it immediately restarts and you get to try again almost instantly. Now let's talk about what we don't like about the game or how we would improve it. Firstly, the sound is good and it fits the game, but it doesn't change. It's the same sound throughout most of the game. You go from door to door and the environment never really changes. It's all the same colors and same textures everywhere. It would have been cool if there were more variety in both sounds and graphics. While the controls are amazing, it would still be nice if this game had gamepad support for those who don't like touch screen controls. Adding touch controls and gamepad controls would add a nice amount of versatility to the game and would bring in more people to play this. All in all, while this game isn't a perfect game, it's a super fun precision platformer that's great for short play sessions and provides a certain amount of accomplishment and a feeling of progress. With that said, this game is definitely D-Life HD approved. Alright everybody, thanks for joining me. Let me know by commenting below if you agree with me or my opinions or have your own to share. If you like this video, remember to smash that like button because it really helps us out a lot. If you want more content like this, remember to subscribe because we release mobile content like this very regularly. Also, remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more game updates. Always stay one up.